brought out some sort of emotion, deep down emotion in everybody that, hey, this is not right. It's just like the story I'm telling you about my bees or your chickens. You know there's something wrong if you you hang around with bees or chickens or if you hang around in the mountains a lot. Just looking at something, um, you know there's something going You know, you just know there's negative energy there. There's something wrong. And um, I was kind of put back or shocked at the how big of a deal this was um, because guys like myself that travel over there all the time you know I look at that as you know the real story here is you know the climate change is making these mountains a lot more dangerous and Nepal didn't cause climate change but they're gonna pay the price just like most poor people in the world are gonna pay the price of climate change first we got all these people going up and a lot of people feel like they have a need to climb Everest just like I did and a lot of people have dreams they want to fulfill um, but I think we need to maybe make an adjustment is I take people to Everest from Indiana um, most of my friends and as you've seen in that trekking thing, I don't know if you've read through it, I, I try to limit the type of person that goes, obviously. Um, and, but I take people in Indiana especially because I want them to witness this and I'd like to have them come back multiple times because then once you come back multiple times, you can see, hmm, it's, you become fully awake to the world. You can't accomplish anything in this world by yourself as an individual, as a member of a, in a company or as a country you have to work with other countries other people you have to give and take um, and uh, I would never have summited Everest and I would have never survived Everest on my own without this team and Nepal has made me fully awake so um, it's excited my senses, so to speak.